last week's challenge. Last week's challenge, we had all the icons up there. So, Jordan, take it away. Let us know who won this thing. Okay. Well, let's, let's get right to it. So, make sure it's up. Everyone can see that. Got all it. right. So, last week, I asked you to tell me what each of these icons stood for. Um, I threw a few weird ones in there. So ones that were make it a little tougher on you, ones you wouldn't necessarily find on your uh, on your normal menu. So let's go take a look at what those answers are. So I won't go through all of them here. We'll just leave this up for a few seconds. But the ones that I threw in there uh, that I saw some people, we had, we had some posts saying, oh, I'm not sure what those are. Some people guessed. So the big ones that tripped everyone up, and that's as it was sort of designed to do, were Solver and the data analysis tools. So you ha those aren't on the menus by default. You have to add those in. So those are kind of my tricks to you. So That was tricky. I, I tried. So this week's winner is from Brian. He's from Cincinnati, Ohio. And I swear to you, I didn't just give him preferential treatment because he's from Ohio. So, but mm -hmm. congratulations, Brian. Congratulations. You win a 12-month paid membership to Minda Tracy's dashboard course. So you'll be better than all of us in no time. So we're very, very happy about that. So um, let's just jump to episode four's challenge. Um, so below, we have a dropdown that appears um, from the developer tab. So this is if you want to insert form controls. You can, you can find it on the developer tab if you go to the controls group and um, you go to insert. So as you'll notice here, in this highlighted red area, there are three gray items. They're grayed out because they're disabled. You can't insert them into your spreadsheet. So the question is, how do we enable them? What can we do? to insert them in our, into our spreadsheet. So now, if you know the answer to this week's challenge, you can find your uh, closest IBM 5250 green screen terminal and link it up to our IBM A-Series 400. That's our special one we have at Excel TV. Or you can send it to challenge at ExcelTVShow.com. That's our new email, brand new. It's still has that fresh email smell. Oh, shiny, um, also shiny new email. Right. Smell it. <laughs> <laughs> you could post it to our Excel TV challenges forum at vbaexpress.com, our sponsor. I'll flip that information up, um, our sponsor information up in a second. You can do it on our brand new LinkedIn group. We have a new header image there, so we're very excited. We're growing. Header images, that's a great next step. Or you could put it in the YouTube comments. Um, and you can also give us thanks and praise or <laughs> criticism if you'd like. We'd rather you not do that. Um, or you can go to our Facebook and Twitter, and as always, follow us on both those uh, and make sure to join in the conversation on social media. So let's jump back to me. And just to remember, uh, this is our VBA Express weekly challenge sponsored by VBAexpress.com. This week's prize is a mystery prize. So we have our swag box, and I didn't want to tell everyone because this one is especially useful around the office. So if you want to find out what that mystery prize is, and you know you do, um, feel free to join in. Join in on our challenge. We welcome we welcome you. So uh, that's our challenge. And I'll so, so back Brian, to Brian, Brian, mm -hmm. way to go, man. Way to go, yeah, Brian. I'm jealous. All right. that's, that. that's 12 months of <laughs> Minda Tracy dashboard oh. training. That is awesome. That's a prize. That's a grand prize. I saw some people in some of the forums who wouldn't normally answer, you know, uh, challenges, and they were like, I don't know, that prize is pretty good. Yeah, it was right. <laughs> I to answer that one. <laughs> we tried to do a 12-month, you know, episode for, for this. She said, no, just an hour. So. Hi, and thank you for watching our weekly challenge on Excel TV. Uh, you can leave your comments or any questions you might have or your possible answers on any of our social accounts or just in the comments section down below. You can also visit our friends over at VBAExpress.com. Over in the forum section, they have a place where you, can, uh, where you can respond to the challenge there as well. And that's a great place to go if you have any questions around VBA, uh, Visual Basic, or just anything around that. It's a great place to go. What we do is we take our weekly episode, which could be an hour long, and we separate that into uh, videos like this for the challenge, as well as a video for the interviews or anything of that nature. So we end up putting out roughly around 20 or so Excel related videos a month. I say that to say I'd like you to go, I'd like to invite you to go ahead and subscribe. 
so that these come to your inbox or come to your YouTube account on a regular basis. So thank you for watching. And until next time, thank you for watching Excel TV.